let us never forget Kandamal. August 23rd marked the 15th anniversary of one of the worst Christian persecutions in Indian history, the Kandamal massacres. The Kandamal riots happened in 2008 in the East Indian state of Odisha in which more than 60,000 people had to flee to the forests to save their lives after fundamentalists attacked and destroyed more than 6,000 houses. The mayhem reduced 395 churches and other places of worship to ashes. More than 100 men and women were brutally killed. And many women, including Catholic nuns, were mercilessly attacked, wounded, and some were raped. They suffered all this just for refusing to renounce their Christian faith. Father Thomas Chellen was the director of the Divya Jyoti Pastoral Centre in Kandamal. On the night of August 25, 2008, a rampaging mob attacked the centre. Father Thomas and a nun who were at the centre fled over the compound wall and took shelter in a Hindu family living close by. But they were found and dragged out. Father Thomas was brutally attacked and the nun was raped. Father Thomas says, I'm alive today because of God's providence. My attackers had poured kerosene on me and wanted to burn me alive. But then one person said, there was no point in burning me inside the building as no one would see it. I think we escaped death because each of our attackers had different ideas about killing us. Looking back at all that has happened, Father Chelan said, I thank God for giving both of us a fresh lease of life. We harbour no anger or bitterness towards those people who attacked and mistreated us. That is the Christian way. I only hope and pray that peace and justice may come to Kandamal and that people can live there without religious discrimination. Junos Nayak, a former police constable, was one of the few Christians who survived a close brush with death during the Kandamal riots. On the 30th of September, while his brother and sister-in-law were slashed with swords in front of him, Junos himself was pumped with bullets. His brother died in hospital the next day. Look at these bullet marks. There are still 11 bullets in my body, said Junos, narrating the spine-chilling attack that he survived. Four bullets which hit the peripheral parts of the body have been removed, but the ones that are embedded deep and close to the bones still remain there. However, this ordeal did not shake the faith of Junos, born to parents who had embraced the Christian faith decades earlier. I have full faith in Jesus the Saviour. It is only because of Jesus that I survived, says Junos. They fired so many bullets at me and look, not one hit my heart. Is this not a miracle? asked Junos putting his right hand to his heart. When Anto Akara, the senior journalist who has for the last 15 years covered the Kandamal rites and its aftermath, diligently documenting the horrific testimonies of the riot victims and has visited Kandamal over 30 times in the last 15 years, brought Juno Snayak to the Divine Retreat Center in Muringur, Kerala to give his testimony more than 6,000 people from across the country who were attending the retreat stood up and shouted hallelujah when Anto Akara held Junos's hand up. During the riots, the burnt face of nine-year-old Namrata Nayak conveyed the horrific atrocities heaped on a hapless minority community. However, 
Namrata recovered her genial look, which itself many consider a miracle. This is Karamfula Nayak, the wife of Pastor Samuel Nayak, who preached the Word of God for more than 25 years in the most remote parts of Odisha. She said that the mob told her husband that he would be spared if he converted, but he refused. When they pulled out their weapons, he asked them for some time to pray. When they agreed, he got out his Bible and read the passage from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 23, verse 34, where Jesus says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Karampula says, they then hacked her husband to death and burnt him. His paralyzed mother was also not spared. She too was killed. Father Edward Sequera, a priest belonging to the Society of Divine Word, was one of those who was seriously injured when his mission station was attacked. Father Sequera was working among lepers in Padampur in Barga district since 1998. On August 25th, a large mob of more than 700 people chanting anti-Christian slogans attacked the orphanage where Father Edward lived with some orphan children. Miss Rajni Maji, a 20-year-old student who lived in the orphanage and was also working as an auxiliary nurse in the orphanage, confronted them. Father Secura says, The extremists thrashed me for nearly an hour. Then they entered my room, collected all the clothes and books and whatever they laid their hands on and piled it in the centre of the room, threw some kerosene on the pile, lit a fire and threw me into the flames and locked the door from the outside. Somehow, I was not frightened. There was definitely the Divine Presence in the burning room. And I went into the bathroom and locked myself in and shut all the windows. The whole room was engulfed in thick smoke and flames. The orphanage was burning down. I was engulfed in flames. I could hear the cries of Rajni and the mob was cheering and shouting through the windows, recalls Father Sequera. Father, they are going to burn me. These were her last words to me. After this, I lost consciousness. Unknown to Father Edward, Rajani Maji was burnt alive and had breathed her last. Most Reverend Raphael Chinath, SVD, Archbishop Emeritus of Katak Bhuvaneshwar, who passed away on the 14th of August 2016, suffered much when Kandamal in his archdiocese was subjected to terrible attacks. Archbishop Chinath braved the worst persecutions and provided leadership to a people who were shattered. The Archbishop shot to the limelight and gained national attention after leading vehement protests against the attack on Christians in Kandamal in 2008. When the Odisha government refused NGOs and civil society to distribute relief among Kandamal victims and survivors, he took the matter to the Supreme Court of India and got the state government order cancelled. At the time of his retirement in February 2011, Archbishop Chinath had lauded Christians of Kandamal for setting an example of living the faith in a hostile environment. He told some 3,000 people at Raikya in Kandamal district, you have raised the faith into new heights at the face of death. I am proud of you. Archbishop John Barua said the people and clergy recall with great pain and agony the barbaric events that occurred in 2008. He said the inhuman attacks on innocent people will always remain a black spot in the history of Odisha and independent India. The people of Odisha, however, want to turn over a new leaf and want a renewed society filled with peace and social harmony. The Christian community believes in a God 
who is a God of forgiveness, reconciliation and peace. Archbishop Barua said this about the faith life of the people of Kandamal after this ordeal. I can confidently say that first and foremost the faith life of my people in Kandamal and Odisha has become rich, enriched and grown to its great size what it is today and what it was before. And community support to each other, becoming more and more united with different denominations that is very much visible and experienced because of this. And all these people are becoming more and more one heart, those several faces there. This is what visibly seen and uh, socially they are growing because they are becoming more and more hardworking. Politically, people are becoming more and more united. Economically, they are becoming hardworking, though they need support and encouragement and spiritually strengthened because of the words that is said true, proved, proving to be true, uh, Tertullian, that uh, blood of the martyrs is the seed of the faith. We believe that and we see that personally in our own life that things are becoming true and people are growing in faith and commitment and conviction and much more the vocations to priesthood and religious life is in increased number. That is something beautiful. In 2018, on the 10th anniversary of the Kandamal riots, nearly half a dozen major events were held in both Odisha and New Delhi. No more bloodshed in the name of religion. Kandamal never again reverberated during the event. Kandamal never again. Let us never forget the people who sacrificed their lives livelihoods, families, houses, jobs, everything, rather than sacrifice their faith. Let us never forget their great sacrifice.